Whoa, full screen. All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the stream. If you just tuned in, it's not me DJing in a robe on my bed. I'm sorry. Um, it's me going through the first ever Patreon sample challenge. I run a page, I open a page at the beginning of, uh, of lockdown uh, on Patreon, patreon.com slash Kyle Watson Music. And on there, you can find a, a bunch of sort of educational stuff. It's for people who are interested in knowing um, how I write my music, uh, get involved in a bit of a community. We just hit 200 members, which blows my mind. Um, it's, it's amazing. And uh, yeah, you, you get the opportunity to do one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. I can critique your tracks. Um, all kinds of cool stuff and uh, it's really cool you get access to a discord server where everybody can interact and share their music and feedback on each other's work and it's really really been doing amazingly well and um, yeah so the whole point of this stream is that a couple of weeks ago I launched a sample challenge the first ever sample challenge where I provided a bunch of samples to the community the patreon community that follow me and um, the challenge was to create a track between 30 and 90 seconds long. Um, you had to use as many of the samples as possible in as creative way as you could. So flip it, reverse it, pitch it. You know, you could you could put them in, um, you could use them as wavetables in, in different synths inside your DAW. You could do a whole bunch of stuff. You were able to add drums and you were able to add two extra synthesizers, uh, soft synthesizers, which you didn't need to use a sample for. So those were the rules. Um, and yeah, uh, I received 34 submissions, which is pretty amazing. Uh, 34 for the, uh, of, the, of the members participated. And I guess maybe I could start with playing you the samples and I'll run through them all one by one. Let me just flip this over. All right. So these are the samples. There were 10 of them and a bunch of them were recorded in my sink at home. I was washing the dishes and I was making all these kind of cool sounds. I was like, hang on a second. I just grabbed the Zoom um, and recorded a few a few weird little samples. So uh, yeah, the, these, are the, these are the raw samples. The first one is, so that one was synthesized that I wrote in, in Cubase. Second one. Okay. Third one. Funky. Okay. This was a recording from the sink. <laughs> <laughs> Could be like a sc scraping of pots or something. That was a pot or a pan half filled with water, hit with like a metal fork or spoon or something, and then like rotated around. So it kind of boom, whoa. That was really cool. Also from the sink. Also from the sink, this, a little snap. And then a couple of extra drums. All right, in a drum layer, a weird texture. All right, and then a vocal sample that I just found somewhere online. Close man, it's all the player knows being broke. Yeah. And lastly, <laughs> which sounds like a toilet, but it's not a toilet, it's also from the sink. Okay, so those were the uh, those were the 10 samples. Yes, that is a big part. So I've got to keep flipping between between uh, windows here. But yeah, that was uh, those were the samples. That was the challenge. Obviously, write whatever you could between 30, and sec 30 seconds and, and 90 seconds as creative as possible. And it was pretty much almost impossible to, to pick a top five Every single uh, submission used the samples in some creative way or another, and they were all epic. So uh, it took me a few days going through all of them uh, once I had them all after the deadline and trying to pick like a top five. And I ended up actually picking like a top seven just because everything was basically good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to run through the top seven. And for, for you guys that are actually signed up to the Patreon, you will get access to a SoundCloud link where, a private SoundCloud link where you'll be able to listen to everybody's submissions. That'll be up for about a month. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's jump in there. 
Okay. Let's start with runner up two. I've got to get this right because I've done little things here. Hey, evasion. Listen to what he did. Awesome work, man. Great production. Uh, it sounds like I think pretty much all of the samples are in there. The groove is amazing. Yeah, it's uh, stop playing, man. It's it's really, really a, a strong submission. Let me see what you guys are saying. What the fuck, man? Love this. It's fucking slaps. Vibes from Evasion. Smash that gas. Yes. No, it was very, very cool. Um, really cool vibe. I can hear all the samples. Super creative. So nice work, man. All right, all right, well done, Ovation. Next one. And just so that you know, the guys who are watching that aren't on the page, didn't know the rules, there was no rule to what genre you had to produce. If you wanted to make a house track, you can make a house track. If you wanted to make uh, experiment or whatever, you could make, you want to make a chill step track, you make a chill step track. There were no rules. So um, there's there's a bunch of genres in here. Obviously, a lot of them are like are 4-4, just because of the uh, the nature of my music and and the and the, uh, the crew who are on the page, but um yeah, next up, runner up, Blackburn. <laughs> Yeah, another epic submission, Blackburn. Really nice rolling track, a little slower than the first one, um, than the Ovation one. I really, what I liked about this was um, the way he had taken a little uh, little section from the first sample I played and he had shuffled it and looped it and pitched it up and down and made it into like its own arpeggio. So I really liked, uh, I liked the creative use of that sample there. Very, very nice, Blackburn. Okay, top five. Top five. Okay. Knox. Oh, 
Chicago's wild. Knox, what I really, really like about this is the way that the samples were layered on top of each other. I love the crunchy texture or the crunchy tone of the record as a whole. I like the groove of it. I like the way he's taken a little so tiny section of the vocal and it's kind of just like totally fucked with it, pitched it up, pitched it down, done like those weird like bro, 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 like monstery kind of things. Um, I really, really, I really, really like that. Very, very creative use of the samples. Nice one, Nox. All right, next one. Let's take it down a notch. Jock Lovell. I'm going to play this air horn every time, right? Um, really, really cool take on using the samples. Uh, I really like the way he had taken a little piece of the arpeggio that I'd written, which was kind of tricky to uh, <laughs> tricky to use, and he had created like this do 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 do. That was really, really creative. I thought so. Um, I like the the tempo and the actual style of the track, and I like the way he'd done that in particular. So, um, nice work, Jock Lobel. All right, get up, top three. Let's see what we got here. Samuel Mia. <laughs> I really, really like, I really, really like that direction that Samuel took with this. I love the tone of the record. I love the way he's basically used like all of the samples to uh, to create the drums and the claps and and uh, he's made one of the samples work so well as a, a clap, which is actually really difficult to do because there's no high frequencies in that sample and he still made it kind of so like dark and really really cool I, I i really like that submission so uh, yeah samuel well done man very very creative dig it are you guys you guys enjoying this nasty dope oh yeah man all right top two helix 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 one of those this is this is badass
that that take on the on 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 the samples is wild. Um, yeah, like some of you guys are mentioning Flume painting a picture, like l- legit. It feels like you're looking at a painting when you listen to this track, and like the sounds or the colors like waving all over them, over it and stuff. It's it's crazy, and the way he's like taking the samples and distorted them and mangled them and like giving them feedback and stuff. It's like it's a uh, <laughs> it's crazy. It's um. It was it's it's an amazing interpretation of the samples and I mean if if that was a finished track I could probably listen to that like a couple of times in a row. So um yeah. Hey hey Lix, he Lix. Hey Lix. Bang on man. Nice work, dude. And finally, number one. It's not really the winner, because everyone's a winner, especially in 2020. But um yeah, I think this this one stood out to me just from the production quality, um, the fact that all of the samples were used and it could be turned into something, you know, like a, a full end product just created from these samples. So I, uh, yeah, let's, let's jump in. And the uh, top spot goes to Mike Derrix. Whoa, Mike Derrix, man. You're looking big up there, bro. Whoopsie. Okay, well, let me bring that down a little bit. At least he gets the the pro treatment there. (laughs) Mike Derrix, my man. Check it out. Mike, amazing dude, really, really, really cool track. Love the way you took a little tonal piece of one of the samples and turned it into a little bum, 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 bum uh, arpeggio. Love the way that you uh, you layered up the weird perky synthy stuff, the drain sound is in there. Um, it sounds super pro, the production in it is amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, I had to give this, I had to, had to give this top spot, it's just, it's really, really good, epic. Um, really, really cool. But to everyone who who uh, who got involved, I mean, yeah, I actually can't wait for you guys to who are on the page, obviously, to actually go and listen to all the submissions. They're going to be up in like half an hour on a post on the page, so you can go and check them all out. Um, they're not in order, so if you're at the bottom, it doesn't mean you you, you like came last. It just means that like it's in alphabetical order. Um, and then I thought just before, oh yeah, just to shout out quickly to everyone, anyone who's watching that. Uh, doesn't know about the Patreon yet. Patreon.com slash Kyle Watson Music. Sign up for super cool shit. And I have one more. I had a bash at the uh, at the sample challenge as well. And I've spoken about it. I've posted a couple of stories about it as well. I just got like totally out of my comfort zone and I made like a drum and bass track. I didn't, I didn't really 100% follow the rules because I did add one extra synth, but I did use one of my samples as a wavetable. So it might be able to pass, but uh, I thought I'd just play it for you guys anyway. And at some point next month, I will break it down on the Patreon page and show you guys how I mangled with all the samples and fucked with everything and turned it into what, what I turned it into. So um, yeah, let's uh, 
first of all, let's take let's take Mike Derex off the screen there because he's he's had his he's had his time. Mike, come on, bro, come on. Um, all right, this was my this was my fuck around. <laughs> Yeah, um, I can't give myself an air horn. That's just vain. But um, I uh, I had so much fun, honestly, doing this within the limitations of the samples and like creating something that was totally uh, air. air <laughs> Everyone's asking for the air horn. <laughs> um, yeah, working working within the. Uh, let me flip this bad boy over. Hang on. Boom. Yeah. Working in the uh, limitations of the samples and creating something totally new, totally different uh, to what I usually do was so inspiring and refreshing, especially now when, you know, like I'm sp speaking to a lot of a lot of people on the page and the one on one sessions where we're not really feeling like mad inspired because as DJs, we're not playing stuff out so we're not getting feedback from people which is which has been hard so you're not getting feedback on your tracks you're writing from people in front of you you're just kind of relying on on online feedback which isn't ideal so it's it's really changed the way that i'm like producing and approaching the whole producing thing and this sample challenge gave me a chance to do something really different and fun and i enjoyed it and there will be uh there will be more on the page which is going to be super cool uh probably within the next couple of months or so so yeah, guys, thanks so much for uh, for watching, especially to everyone who submitted. Thank you um, to have you guys involved was epic and you're all super involved on the page. Really, really do appreciate it. Obviously, all the, all the people are on the page. You guys are amazing. For those of you who maybe missed it the first 500 times I said it, patreon.com slash car watching music. It's, uh, it's a cool place. It's a, gr it's a growing community. And um, yeah, I hope to see, see some new faces on there after tonight. And that's inspired you to join. And um, yeah, Patreon guys, keep an eye out on the page for a breakdown of this coming next month. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I guess we'll chat soon. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Peace. <laughs>